Hello everyone and welcome to a new Digimon card game unboxing video. This time I'll be unboxing my second Great Legends booster box. So let's get it started. Alright, so here's the, uh, the promo insert, which we'll open first. In the last box we got Koshiro, so let's see who we open. I'm just hoping for Yoshino, because... She deserves more love. Nope, we get Taichi, but still fairly cool. I wonder if we'll be getting uh, original adventure children anytime soon with their uh, original designs, or if we're just going to be getting just the uh, just just the reboot designs for the adventure children. And I'm just going to move my microphone just up a little bit, and hopefully that won't be too noisy. There we are. Alright, so here is our first booster, and it's time to once again make everybody nervous with the way that I open the booster packs. Alright, who do we have? Let's make room. We've got Tanktramon, we've got Geogreymon, we've got Devimon, we've got Gotsumon, we've got Soundbirdmon, and we've got... Thomas H. Norstein, who we did not get in the first unboxing video for uh, Great Legends. So that's exciting. I think that was the one Tamer card we were missing, I think. Something like that. And let's do another snip. One day I will snip open a card by mistake. I just know it. Everyone knows it. Don't know why I didn't put Soundbird 1 on top of the, into the purple pile. Option card, there's a Tamamon, Dutrumon, which we don't have a yellow pile yet, let's make it there. Gabumon, another really cool new Digimon from the Pendulum Z. And there's Valdemon, we didn't get that in the uh, in the first pack. I'll try not to rant too much about how much I love uh, all the Pendulum Z Digimon as well as all the uh, the kind of semi-obscure Digimon who are making an appearance in the booster box because I know I kind of go on about that every unboxing video and I don't want to I want my commentary to be somewhat fresh and uh, not just the same ranting every time which it has been so far but otherwise what do I talk about do I just not give commentary do I just do a silent unboxing that's not really my style. Maybe you prefer a silent unboxing. Maybe there are some of you who aren't actually listening right now because you prefer to have this on mute because you just want to see what cards I open but don't really care much for me prattling on uh, just about random things involving Digimon or card games in general. Maybe you just watch this super slowly. Maybe you just like looking at the cards. Maybe you think I flick through them too fast. Maybe you think I flick th through them too slow. Oh, there's Blastmon, which I accidentally revealed. Uh, there we are. Where's the black? There's the black. No, that's green. Where's my black pile? Do I not have... I do not have a black pile. Now I do. There's Blastmon. Somebody we didn't see in the first unboxing video. So it's nice that we get to fill in those blanks. Making everybody nervous with another quick snip. Oh, there's still a card in there, but it's just the insert card. Not too important. I'll just clean up this bit here. And I'll put my scissors there. There we are. I'm lazy, I haven't even... Ooh, there's Darkdramon, that's pretty cool. I'm lazy, I haven't even put away the, uh, the cards from the previous unboxing yet. Mainly because I don't have a binder to put them in yet. I'm meant to be picking that up from the post office today. It actually arrived a few days ago, but I didn't get a note. Usually they uh, SMS me when I need to pick something up from the post office, but they didn't this time. So that's not super fun. And then when I was on my way, I was in my car accident, so haven't really gotten around for picking that up yet. Where's Labramon? Sunflowmon? And there's an option card. And a snip and a slide. And a pull. 
and a throw. There we are. I'll move my scissors out of the way. Pendulum Zeds still haven't arrived yet. They'll be arriving apparently before end of day today, which sometimes with the UPS can be 6 p.m. Hopefully it's not that late. Hopefully it arrives during the day. Because I might not feel like doing another video and starting up a Pendulum Z at uh, just after 6 p.m. That, that seems too late. Maybe I'll prefer to take my dog for the walk. And also, I'm forgetting that uh, some of the Shodo figures arrived, as well as the uh, the colon Digivice that also will be arriving with the Pendulum Z. But obviously, the Pendulum Z is the most important uh, part in that delivery. It's the bit I'm, that I've been waiting for, the bit that I'm excited for. So the colon Digivice and the, uh, the Shodo figures are not as exciting as the first wave of Pendulum Zeds. Which, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm running my Deep Savers one first, or I will be when it arrives. Hopefully it arrives today. It, uh, the, the estimated dates on UPS are not particularly exciting because they first said it was going to arrive on the 10th of December. And then it said for the longest time last Friday, and then for a little bit it said Monday as in yesterday, but now it says today. So that should be soon. Where's my, there's my bike pile. Ooh, and there's Wargreymon again, a again as in like this is the first time I've opened this Wargreymon, but Wargreymon is in the majority of the sets now. But we've got him in red, we've got him in black, and now we have him in yellow. So again, we get an, we get Ogamon every booster set. We get, I think this is the first one we don't have an Omegamon. I don't think Omegamon's in this set, is he? No. Oh, yeah, because Alteress was in the last set. I don't think there's one in this set, so that's exciting. No Omegamon, presumably. But next booster box, uh, is it in uh, set, uh, booster box foot five? is going to be, I'm pretty sure, oops, all Omegamons. So that's, uh, that's something. They really like their Omegamons. I don't really mind. They can have Omegamon if they want. Oh, I just realized that is not my purple pile. That's actually my baby pile. Or my Digitama pile, I guess. Even though I call them babies, I think they're actually called, like, Digitama, as in Digi-Egg. But whatever. So excited for the Pendulum Zeds. Hopefully they hopefully they arrive soon. Phantomon, such a good Digimon. Nubimon. And then there's Ghostmon, again from the Pendulum Zeds. Uh, booster box drinking game. Take a shot every time I, I talk about how excited I am for the Pendulum Z. Take two if it's about Ghostmon. Uh, down your drink if I start talking about how much I love the uh, the range of underrated and unappreciated Digimon that are appearing in this card game. Please don't. That sounds like a bad way to uh, have a bad time. There's Roachmon. And Orochimon. I think I opened him in the last set, but I do like that. I, I like the art, and again, I think that's another thing that uh, I tend to do, uh, go over a lot, is how much I love the art. Do I have a second black pile? There we are. Nope, and that is... I've just started flicking cards in their wrong piles. And then there's a green card that's not in... Uh, not where it should be. Not doing too well at keeping the piles the way they should be, but at least I haven't snipped off the top of a card yet. But hey, the day is young. Neo Devimon, I think Dun Devimon's meant to be in this set, if I recall correctly. So that could be exciting. Something I like about this, and I only realised this um, because my friend Seki was like, hey, so what do the cards feel like compared to other cards? And I was just like, I don't know. I don't pay attention to that kind of thing. So I picked up a, a random Magic the Gathering card, and I just I didn't realise how like uh, flimsy Magic the Gathering cards felt in compared with these ones, which are just, their car the card is so thick, and it's just so, oop, there we go, see a Stravimon. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the card for these are just, it's pretty thick, like, uh, compared with, uh, the Magic the Gathering cards, I, I just feel like they were surprisingly soft, even though I played Magic the Gathering for years, uh, going from touching these cards to touching Magic the Gathering cards was, um, 
yeah, surprisingly, surprisingly thin and surprisingly soft. And there we have Ancient Garurumon, who I opened in the first box. So no Ancient Greymon, but now I have two Ancient Garurumon. But he's pretty cool. In fact, I think that even looks like different art. Or maybe it's the same art. Maybe my memory is just super bad. Do I have him sitting next to me that I can quickly grab? I think so. So here are my blues. Yep, different art. Hey, that's pretty cool. My first one was an alt art. Yep, same guard. Ancient Garurumon. But different art. So that's pretty cool. There we are. How good is that? I was able to, uh, maybe that was good that I didn't put them away, but yeah, I need to pick up the, the folder because I don't have any place for these new cards because the other big folder is full from the first three booster sets. Yeah, so it turns out I actually did get an alt art last, uh, last booster box unboxing. It was just, it was the secret rare, so I just thought it was meant to be that pretty. Which I'm pretty sure was something I said. I was like, oh, what if I did open a, a, an alt art, but I just didn't realise it because it was just so pretty. Also, I love that fucking mon art. It's so cute. Okay, oh, here we go. I'm about to talk about how underrated some Digimon are. It is nice how some some of these some of the art here, especially for the underappreciated Digimon or the ones we don't see that often. It just the art just makes me want to look at it. Some sometimes the art's a little bit too busy, a little bit too happening, but I feel like for a lot of them, it's just, they're just really simple bits of art. Probably my favourite still the Ugamon from I think it's set two. It's green, and uh, it just it just looks really happy. I don't know. He just sort of like he's hanging out with a flower, and there we have Lilamon again. And I say again because I opened her in the first uh, unboxing for this, the Great Legends set. I'm not sure how the sound is like because every time I pick up a booster I actually shake it just to my side here which is actually right next to the microphone. So I should probably stop doing that and I apologise for doing that. But uh, I have to shake it to the bottom or otherwise I risk actually sniffing the top of the cards which is why I've never done it because I just, I shake it a lot like this. And I do that right next to the microphone. So I guess I'll uh, I'll try to make that sound less bad. I only just realised I was doing it and I was like, oh yikes. Usually I think I shake it uh, in the screen, but I was like, oh I don't wanna don't wanna accidentally knock the camera. And by camera I mean my phone. I actually had to put it in the freezer after the last video. Uh, not because it was partic it's particularly hot at the moment, but because my phone gets really hot. I think I've got Pokemon Go still running from this morning, so uh, maybe that's why it's all of a sudden running incredibly hot. I love the Marine Chimeramon. It's, I, I mean, I, I love Chimeramon. I love how it's made up of different Digimon, and I'm glad that we have a uh, have another Digimon that is got the same sort of uh, flavor to it. I love the sort of you look, you can look at it and say, now what Digimon was that? Look like it's got a... Co uh, not Koalamon, um... Oh, well, it's not Koalamon. Anyway, it's Tealamon. Um, Gessomon. It's got it's Gessomon's arms. Scorpiomon, who actually isn't a Scorpio, but never mind. It's Claw, I think. No, maybe, maybe that's a Beedramon's Claw. I don't know. I'm bad, I'm bad with Digimon. For someone who talks about Digimon a lot, I don't know much about Digimon. Ooh, Spinomon! I gotta tell Blue because I know Blue's running a Spinomon at the moment with the uh, with his XL. Gotta tell Blue about that. Also, just great art. And again, Spinomon, another uh, Digimon who hasn't really appeared in much. A lot of dinosaurs in general haven't really got a lot of love from Digimon, which is sad because <laughs> the dinosaur Digimon are kind of the best. Where's the black pile? There it is. And again, Falcom on the original design. Super cool to see. There's Lotusmon. So maybe there's no Rosemon in this set. It's just Lotusmon, which is kind of cool. But I guess we're not going with uh, Yoshino's evolution path. We've got Mirage Galgamon, we've got Shine Greymon, but 
just because we've got War Graham on in every set, but we can't have Rosemon in every set or two sets. That'd be that'd be too much Rosemon. We can't give a character that much attention that's not evo an evolution of Agumon. Because that'd be silly. Oh, what's this shiny one we have? Ah, oh, we have Rise Greymon. So another one we have before, but nice to see. And we do a snip. We do a tear. And we do a pull. Galgamon, where's my blue pile? There's Kudamon, an option card. Golemon, there we go. Goonimon. And Shine Greymon. And two more booster packs for this box. We are making short work of this box. I think it's uh we're we we took a lot we took like over 20 minutes in the last box, and this one's like under 20 minutes, so that's nice. I don't like spending too long. I'm not sure how I'm not, people never let me know if they want me to go slowly with these cards or they want me to just sort of burn through them really quickly and only show like certain specific ones. Nobody lets me know, so I'm assuming that I go at an okay pace. Nobody seems to complain about my ranting. Maybe they do have me on mute. I don't know. And there's Nidhogmon. Mon, Ni I can never say Nidhogmon. I always have to stop Nidhogmon because I, I just jumble my words. I say Nidhogmon. There's Nidhogmon again, but then... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I have a very hard amount of time not combining words. Yeah, I love Nidhogmon. Uh, the episode where Nidhogmon was, this is the last booster back, by the way, was defeated, was kind of average, but I kind of, I don't know, I like seeing new Digimon show up just as much as I like seeing Digimon that haven't shown up before show up, as in Digimon designs. Oh, there I go again. There's Budmon. We didn't see her in the first booster box, and we finally have a have one of each baby. I love that art as well. I like how there's Euromon, and then there's look, little Palmon, little Palmon's head, who appears to be looking after the babies. Maybe I think. And then there's Commandramon, one of uh, one of my favorite Digimon probably. I don't know. I like Commandramon. And there we go. That's it for our second booster box for Great Legends. And it turns out we did get a uh, an alt art. In the last box, but I don't think we got one in this box. Or maybe we did. Maybe I just missed it. Maybe when I opened the third box, I'll be like, Oh, look, I did get an alt art. But uh, anyway, so thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!